This one? That one, thank you. But it's not a top hat. For Steve. <laughs> what? A hat. Uh -huh. You say you were um, <laughs> quite interested in this, how you started the Morris, because you were quite young, weren't you? Seven. So that would have been what year would that be? Thanks for that. 1967. 67. So I was I was five then. So you were yeah. So you were seven. That means you're 52. Yes. And you joined with? How, did you join with Wayne? No, I joined a year before Wayne. We both started practicing together. Wayne's Wayne's younger than you, isn't he? He's a year younger than me. Uh, Wayne wasn't allowed to dance out because Wayne's too young. And it hurts Wayne to this day. But oh, really? <laughs> because he's by far the better dancer. He is a good dancer, but it's very generous of you to say he's by far the better dancer. <laughs> anyway, so there's, there's no, no point being a good dancer unless you actually dance. Exactly, and he wasn't allowed. To. He wasn't allowed. Because he was a child, and I was a, a little older. So you danced out then, from seven? On Boxing Day. With, with the men, or was there a boys' side? Yeah, I mean, there wasn't, there wasn't such, such a boys' side because there was just Wayne and I. And that was 1967? Yes. So was, was Morris... I always have in my mind that Morris sort of... The revival was in the 70s. No, 60s. It was in the 60s, OK. Yes. OK. Why, why do you think it was? What's your perspective on that? I, have, I, have, I have, don't have a perspective. You don't have a clue? I try not to think if I can You're <laughs> trying to think. Right. Do you think that might have been the increasing complexity of society that, that was created a lot of people who, <laughs> who didn't want to think and that might have been why it became fashionable? <laughs> Probably all high on pot. <laughs> <laughs> Is that, academics are all the same. You, you reckon it's... Uh, I'm just analysing it, over-analysing it? Far too analytical. Paul. Just lay back and enjoy it. I am trying to chill out. <laughs> this, <laughs> with the camera, <laughs> with people. There's some down here which you could pick up and carry. Right? So then you danced till you were. Till more chairs down there in three, four years. So till you were about 11? Yeah, 12. And then I disappeared for a bit. Just for any particular reason? Yes. You don't want to tell me? No. That's alright. Right. <laughs> so you went away and then. And then uh, joined the army and then came. How back. old were you when you joined the army? 16? 18. 18. Yeah. So that would have been 78. What were so that was the British Army, presumably. The French Foreign Legion, not British Army. British <laughs> Army, yes. Um, <laughs> so that would have been 1978. So I'm trying to think what the British Army was what the business of the British Army was around the world at that time, what kinds of things they were doing. Northern Ireland. Did you get posted there? Hang on a minute. Twice. Are you allowed to tell me that? Right. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. yeah. Probably, and you, prob well, you probably wouldn't be able to tell me much more about it. Not, not, no. Yeah. Uh, uh, and how long, did, how long were your... Um, I was in the army for eight years. Eight years. And how long were your tours six in the... Months, six yeah. months. And I volunteered for the Falklands. Because that went on towards wow. the 70s. And you went there? No, I was on standby, but uh, the Argus gave up. Right. So, because the unit I was with wouldn't have been sent to the Falklands, so I volunteered. Right. 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 So this is my Right. This is what we're trying to do. Let's go out and do it. Yeah. And then they said, you're not going. You're not going. We don't need you. <laughs> we don't want the likes of you in, actually, actually in the counseling. South Atlantic. I actually needed counselling. Did you? you said, yes, I took for me. So you had to be oh, calmed yes, down again? Basically, yes. That's, that's that's quite serious then. So when did you eventually come back to the Morris? So, I mean, there's, I've just jumped all your years of courting, meeting your meeting Deirdre in Germany. Cheers. And so I was never really away fully. I'm used to come back again. Yeah. At certain times, we've got some leave and stuff like that. Yeah. <laughs> Properly, I suppose, when Phil joined. Right, and Phil joined. Do you knew Phil, Phil already? No, because no. Phil was a new member at that same time I joined, rejoined, and we used to practice in my sister in law's kitchen because it was big. Right, okay. And Wayne gave us some private tuition. Right. And that was quite handy. That's why Phil was such a fantastic dancer. One to one, well, 
one to two teams. What I wanted to know was when when you restarted motion, it doesn't have to be at Ravensbrook, so I know you went to Northwood for a bit. Yes, I did. I took um, seven years to ask because I fell out over a set of belts. Because the guy, uh, 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 the guy that taught me to dance, Wally Fairs, uh, Pete Padden gave me his belts. Okay. And um, certain members of the side wanted them back. But I believe that belts should be danced with. Yes. Um, and an awful lot of the side ganged up, so I said, right, there's your bells. And, um, Who did you say that to? That was Ravensbourne? Or? Ravensbourne. Yeah, well, it would be, wouldn't it? And then um, I went off with a huff for a few years. A few years of a huff? <laughs> If you're going to go over that if now. You're gonna go throw a paddy, throw one. <laughs> you must have had a lot of toys to keep throwing them out of your pram for well, that yes, long. I used to turn up now and again in Northwood Kits. <laughs> just to wind people to up. <laughs> I think I remember you doing that. I was out the squire at the time when he had a word with me. And he said, a couple of members have turned up. So if you turn up in Northwood Kit again, you'll be asked to leave. Okay. So I didn't come back for a little while after, and then I turned up in Ravenwood Kit again. Right. Well, you're back now, aren't you? You've, you've been, but I'm quite interested in the um, the membership problem because traditionally uh, at Ravensbourne. No, 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 no. no. I'm, it's just interesting. It, traditionally, I went to a, I went to a, an ARM, an AGM, AGM once. Yeah. Um, a long, 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 long time ago when I came back to the field, and I've never been so to all the pompous bollocks that came out of some of these people's mouths. Can't, couldn't agree more. I vowed never again to come to them, so I didn't. Right. But the only problem was, it meant they couldn't actually vote me in as a member because I didn't turn up. Ben, in his infinite wisdom, decided when he was serious during his scholarship to change that to vote me in anyway. Well, Ben decided to, my reading of that is Ben decided to completely ignore the Constitution. Yes. Which is a brave move and an innovative move on his part. <laughs> so you've either got an illegal squire, <laughs> yes. or Ben's move works. Yeah, it's really weird, isn't it? Because now you're a squire of the side, and all things come to an end. <laughs> very strange, very strange. Oh, well. You're enjoying your time of school. You've been squaring out for a few weeks. You're enjoying it. A week. A week. A week. Well, that feels, feels like more than two weeks. Two weeks. <laughs> two weeks on Tuesday. Two weeks. <laughs> two weeks. Two weeks. Two weeks. So far. It's so far, okay. so good. Yeah, seems like fun to me. It's been fun. It's been fun. It's been fun. It's been fun. Yeah. You upset me, and I make you do a dance, which is just full on all yeah, the time. Good. Full on. Is that what it's going to come? Yeah. You're fitting. You, 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 you know, it's a dance you don't do. You're, you're building us up at the moment though, aren't you, by yes. working us out, yes. getting yes. us ready for yes. it. So yes. get, get, we might not be upset get, when you get you ready that. for your marathon. You might, we might surprise you and just and just do it. And then I might surprise you on the coast to coast, coast walk. Dance. Walk it's possible to do coast to coast, but only cover about 12 miles. So it's not as bad as it sounds. So this has been Steve Taylor talking about his life in the Morris and various other bits and pieces of great importance and historical significance. Roar! <laughs> and that was Jim. I'll be getting him later. <laughs> Thank you, Richard. You're welcome. Thanks for talking to me, Steve. You're welcome.